my name is uh, Ruth Robinathan. I've got a few uh, USPs, unique sound points. Um, first one being, you would never guess, I'm half Irish and half Jewish. So it's down here for dancing. And it's up here for very clever money saving ideas. And uh, actually everybody here tonight will be getting a thank you card with a stamp that I've carefully steamed off. Now, I'm very sorry about that small earthquake that took place just there. I don't know if you heard the, um, the rumbles. Uh, that apparently is because of my BMI, which I'm a bit upset about. And also, there are some other issues here. Now, the uh, Marks and Spencer's over-the-shoulder boulder holder was wearing a little bit thin, so I had to get down to Bravissimo for some specialist fitting for the big girls. I'd heard about this, but I thought I'd better give it a try because they've got a special technique for measuring. So I went in and I was expecting all the patting and the and all of this and the measuring, but oh no. She said to me, Madam, if you can just strip to the waist and I'll be with you in a moment. So I started getting on. She said, Wait, go in the changing room. So I went, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's key, it was ladies only. Went in the changing room, stripped to the waist. I thought, really vulnerable. She put your arms standing there. She came in, she said, right, madam, I'm going to do this by eye. <laughs> oh, this is a bit weird. So she looked at me like this. And she came out, I was still standing there, very, very vulnerable. She came back in, the size of this thing, the scaffolding could have held up that I-360, you've never seen anything like it. Turns out I am an H for huge. Now, I will demonstrate. This is I had a look at it, I thought I'm going to get down that tilt and piss with this, so I've been absent. <laughs> Successfully down tilt and piss, no problem whatsoever. So, with the titties, it's not all fun and games this, you know. You think it might be, it's not. It's not all fun and games. So, I've had this terrible back to give me a bit of jip. So I got to my doctors, I thought I'd better get to the doctors and oh, this is getting ridiculous. I went and sat down and I said, Doctor, I've been thinking about it for some time. I'm gonna have to have a reduction. And he looked at me like this. And he went, Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. And I went, What? And he went, Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, what? Oh, sorry about my Welsh accent, I can't really do the accent. <laughs> Your BMI is far too high, it's about 30, it needs to be 25. I was indignant, So I went home, I thought, I mean, there's going to be crop drafts, there's going to be a chart, I'm getting everything weighed up, I'm going to do this. So I said to my daughter, right, Nina, bring the ladders in from the garden, we're going to do this properly. Brought the ladder in, put the H for huge on rung four, got on the scales, looked down, there it is. There's the BMI 25. Classic chicken egg situation, isn't it? Classic. So I said to Nina, put those ladders back in the garden. You know what's happened? Some bastard has licked the ladders. Now I just want to know, please, if any of you here have done this, can you return them before further steps are taken? Anyway, I don't even give a shit. They weren't even my best ladders, they were my step ladders. I don't really care about that. So, I'm not, I'm not a very popular person, I don't know why. I'm, I've not done very well in my life, through my life with friendships, or anything. I'm just never very popular. And I think that some of it might be at school because of my dual heritage. And I was really a bit ashamed of it, going to school. I really didn't want anyone to find out about it. I was just really a bit ashamed. And it was an all-girls Catholic school, the girls end and the boys end. And I'd managed to keep it shtum about the Jewish thing. I don't know, there's some people, I guess, but I kept it shtum. My brother joined the school. There was an RE class, and in the show and tell, he brought in my dad's couple, the shawl thing, the thing they put on the door, everything, the word was out. So, it's my brother David, it's half Jewish, that means that room, it's half Jewish. So, my list was already right at the bottom of the list for taking Harry the hamster home. And this hamster had been around 10 years. And I, and I had not taken it home. And I was just was so waiting and so begging that Susan Duncan would put me on the list. She was the hamster on the joke. She'd never put me on that list. And I just, it was the only thing I wanted because my mum and dad were not very keen on pets at the time. And I just wanted to take the hamster home and give it a run round. Finally the day came. It was my turn to take the hamster home. I was so pleased. And I took the hamster 
so high, and I thought, I'm going to liberate Honey. So Honey went for a run. My brother came down the stairs, splat. Honey's guts were out of his mouth. Splattered onto the floor. My little brother came running with a cold flannel. No, it was not going to happen. Honey was dead. What am I going to do? My popular aloe tea was already totally on the floor. So the next day, I said to him, I'm going to go to the pet shop. So I went to the pet shop, and I was just praying that there was going to be a house to the same. Because this house was 10 years old. It was amazing how long. But I didn't think that long. So I walked to the pet shop, and I saw Hammy. I saw Hammy doppelganger. There it was. And I said to my mother, Mom, oh, my Christmases have come together. Oh, Mum, thank God, look, there's another hamster exactly the same. So my mother looked around the shop. I could see her looking. Eagle eyed, and she spotted a Syrian hamster that was a pound cheaper. <laughs> and she said, Oh, to be sure, look at that little fella there. That little fella there is really cute. I think we'll have that one. The one that's a pound cheaper. I said, Mum, no, please don't, please don't. Everybody will know what has happened. Oh, to be sure, it'll be fine. This little fella's lovely. So the next day, I put the silver jubilee tea towel over the, tightly over the top of the hamster cage. That's showing my age. <laughs> Went into the queue. Susan Duncan was eyeing me. She said, Ruth, why is your mum in the queue? I said, you'll find out. Oh, no, things have gone very, very bad for me. Very, very bad. We got into the class. My mum had a private word with Sister Bernadette. Sister Bernadette burst into tears at the back of the classroom. The hamster was ten years old. <laughs> and then I could hear it right in the back of the room. Susan Duncan saying, murderer, murderer, murderer. The whole class joined in with the murderer thing. And then she said to me in a big loud voice, and she pointed at me, and she said, your people killed Jesus, and now you have killed Harry. So, fuck you.